So plantar fasciitis is a condition we see all the time in physiotherapy and is notoriously difficult to treat. But can shockwave therapy become a treatment tool we can really use and can actually work to help our patients in practice? If you're ready to find out, let's dive in. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. Today, I'm going to be diving into shockwave therapy and the evidence that's been growing when it's used to treat plantar fasciitis. As we said in the intro, plantar fasciitis is notoriously really difficult to treat. And I often find that patients are getting tired of the stretches and the taping and find that they need something additional to help them on their way. So let's check out shockwave therapy. Can it actually work and help our patients with plantar fasciitis? So shockwave therapy, or ESWT, involves the production of shockwaves in the form of sound waves, which are passed through the skin onto the area of the body where our patient has pain. The idea is that these mechanical shockwaves work by increasing blood flow to the area which is painful, and this is suggested to help increase the speed of healing of the tissues in the affected area. So, for plantar fasciitis, this would involve producing the shockwave specifically at the heel where the plantar fascia normally gets irritated. So the major piece of research that I wanted to bring to your attention here is this brilliant study from Charles et al. from 2023. So this meta-analysis and systematic review involved 63 different research trials that they analysed to look at the effects of shockwave therapy for Achilles tendinopathy, patella tendinopathy and plantar fasciitis. And as you can see, 10 of these studies were aimed at looking at patella tendinopathy, 13 at Achilles tendinopathy, and the remaining 40 looking at the effects of shockwave therapy on plantar fasciitis. So a huge amount of evidence to analyse whether or not it's truly effective for this condition. Now, the reason I wanted to bring you this particular study is, number one, because of the high numbers, the number of studies included, which increases the validity of this research. But secondly, just read the results. So, first of all, Charles et al. found that there was low to moderate evidence of a negligible, very small effect for shockwave therapy on Achilles tendinopathy and patella tendinopathy. However, when they looked at the 40 studies for plantar fasciitis, they found that there was high quality evidence of a large effect and improvement in pain and function for patients with plantar fasciitis when using shockwave therapy. So real clear demonstration of the benefits of this particular treatment for this particular condition. So that piece of research is backed up by the thoughts of Morrissey et al. in the best clinical practice guide that we have to date for plantar heel pain or plantar fasciitis, which is written in 2021. So Morrissey et al. established that in the first six weeks, patients with plantar fasciitis should have the following treatments as the core approach to treating plantar fasciitis. Number one, advice and education on the key things that they need to do to help manage their condition. Number two, specific plantar fascia stretching exercises. And number three, taping that should be done every day for the foot in order to support the plantar fascia. However, it was established that if that core approach did not work in the first six weeks, the next go-to treatment should be shockwave therapy. And shockwave therapy should be practiced for the next 6 to 12 weeks to see if it can help get symptoms under control. So, for patients who haven't improved in the first 6 weeks with plantar fasciitis core approach of education, stretching and taping, the next go-to option should be shockwave therapy. And that's how I would use this tool in practice, whereby if my patients are not seen to be getting better in the first 6 weeks, shockwave therapy is the next best thing I can do in order to help my patients. So everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it gives you real confidence to try this treatment technique for your patients with plantar fasciitis. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to the channel for all our best updates. Remember, you can find more from us on our Instagram account at Clinical Physio and on our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.